prepare a lancing device to collect blood sample. The lancing device may not be used by more than one individual. Ensure the lancing device is not shared among different users. Thoroughly wash and dry your hand and the testing site with water and soap. Unscrew the tip of the lancing device. After completely inserting a disposable lancet into the lancet holder, gently twist out the protective disc and close the tip. Do not discard the protective disc, but have it nearby. You can adjust the depth level of the lancing device from level 1 to level 5. As the number gets greater, the skin depth to retrieve blood gets deeper. To cog the lancing device, pull the device with one hand and pull the sliding barrel until you feel it click. Gently insert a test strip with the CareSense N logo facing up until the meter beeps. After displaying current temperature, the meter will display the blood insertion symbol. CareSense InPop has a post-mill flagging function for diabetic patients to manage the pre-mill and post-mill test results separately. Post-mill flagging should be in set right before the insertion of blood sample. Please take caution when measuring with a post-mill flagging function because post-mill flagging cannot be deleted. In order to save test result as a post-mill glucose level, press the arrow button for three seconds while the strip is inserted. Meter will display a post-mill flag on the display. Post-mill test result is viewed with a post-mill flag. If you do not want to save the test result as a post-mill glucose level, press the arrow button for three seconds once again. When the meter is ready, collect a blood sample with a prepared lancing device by pressing the release button. While the meter displays the blood insertion symbol, let the tip of the strip touch the blood sample until the meter beeps. Confirm if the confirmation window of the strip is filled with a blood sample. At least 0.5 microliters of blood sample is required to fully fill the confirmation window. If the confirmation window is not fully filled with a blood sample, the meter may display error 4. Test results appear after the meter counts down for 5 seconds. Data is then automatically saved. Meter automatically turns off when the inserted strip is removed. Used strip must be discarded in a disposable container. Do not reuse the used strap. The meter will automatically turn off when blood sample is not inserted for 2 minutes after the blood insertion symbol has appeared. When the meter is turned off, remove the test strip and reinsert it to test. After completing the test, unscrew the tip to open the lancing device and place the protected disc on the lancet. You can remove the lancet from the lancing device by pulling the sliding barrel and pushing the lancet ejector button forward simultaneously. Discard the used lancet into a disposable container. The lancet is for single use only. Never share or reuse a lancet. Put the tip back on the lancing device after removing the used lancet. Keep the lancing device always clean. Usually when someone tests their glucose, they take the blood sample from the tip of the finger. Since there are many nerve endings distributed there, it is quite painful if it is repetitively measured. In this case, you can minimize the pain by collecting blood from alternative testing sites such as the forearm, palm, thigh, or calf. In the following cases, collecting blood from the fingertip is necessary since blood collected from alternative sites may vary. If the sample drop of blood runs or spreads due to contact with hair or with lines in your palm, do not use that sample. Try puncturing again in a smoother area. Before using AST, please consult your healthcare professionals. Test results stored in CareSense in-pop meter can be transferred from the meter to a computer using PC Care software and cable. 
The PC is displayed when the data cable connects the meter with computer. For more information, contact your authorized iSense sales representative or visit www.isense.com.